Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to Stitch and Switch Creations. Here at Stitch and Switch Creations I'm all about using soft circuits. Soft circuits are when you put electronic components in textiles. You could say our sewing's pretty electric. Today we're going to be having a think about what goes on inside of our electronic circuits. And to do that we're going to be using a balloon and a soft drink can. Let's get to it. my balloon. And you can try this one at home. So we're rubbing this balloon back and forth on my hair, something pretty cool is happening. We're getting something called static electricity. Now you probably come across static electricity all the time. Maybe when you get out of the car you get a zap or perhaps you walk around in your Ugg boots in winter and you touch that metal door handle and you feel the zap as well. Or maybe you've played with a balloon and you've seen something like this happening. Inside atoms you've got charges that are positive, negative and neutral. And electrons are the ones on the outside and they're negatively charged. Now when I rub the balloon on my hair, the negatively charged electrons actually get scraped off and put onto the balloon from my hair. So I've got positively charged hair and negatively charged balloon. And those opposite static electric charges actually pull together and my balloon can stick to my hair. My balloon is what we call an insulator. That means that electrons and charges just don't flow around it very well. They kind of get stuck. That's why we call it static electricity. But that's not very good if you're wanting an electric circuit. You want something where those electrons can move around. So what about if we try with my can? Hmm. Nothing. Gravity happens, I suppose, but that always happens. <laughs> my can's actually conductive, which means that the charged particles can actually move. And in the case of metal, it's the electrons that are moving about. So when I rub it on my hair, we don't really get the same thing happening. We can see this in another way. So I'm going to need my balloon and my can, and for this I'm also going to need a tray. Okay, so just like before, we're going to charge up our balloon. Okay, lots of static electric charge on our balloon. When I bring it close to the can, it actually does something pretty cool. Oh. Our can moves, and that's because balloon, negatively charged, gonna stay that way. My can, on the other hand, it's conductive, which means that the electrons are free to move around. And so we get the electrons closest to the balloon moving to the other side, wanting to be far away. So we get a negatively charged balloon and a positively charged side on our can. And when I bring them together, that means our can is actually attracted towards our balloon and it moves around. Let's move that out of the way for a moment. So inside circuits we're using the properties of conductors and insulators to be able to help us do really useful things. So inside my little soft circuit here, I've got a battery which is having a chemical reaction and causing electrons to flow around my circuit. And then I've got some metal wire and my little LED. So those electrons are flowing through the wire and they're flowing through my LED and being able to turn it on. I've also got an insulator helping me out here. You see that felt? It's not great at letting electrical current flow through it. And so the electrical current stays within the circuit that I've made. And we use these properties of conductors and insulators in circuits all the time. We're using our conductors to let the electrons flow through them and be able to help our devices do their thing. But we're also using insulators. We often put plastic around our wires to insulate the wires and stop the current from flowing elsewhere to places we don't want it to go. Well this has been a really quick intro into some different things that go on inside of our electrical circuits. I hope you've had lots of fun here with me today. My name's Ali, this is Stitch and Switch Creations. See you later, bye!